Hi friends, it's Joan at 10 Pentacles Tarot, and today I'm going to review for you a deck that I just love. It's very different. It's an oracle deck, and it is called the RKO Personal Archetype archetype cards by Nick Bantock, who is the creator of Griffin and Sabine, um, a book that I used to love, love, love. Um, I never bought it and I haven't seen it. So, um, but it's really, really awesome. And what I like about it is the artwork. So this is a magnetically sealed box, um, heavy cardboard. Um, this is what the front looks like. The spine looks like this it says includes a 42 card deck and a 204 page full color guidebook which is always nice. Um, the top looks like that. The other side looks like that. It's published by Lou Ellen. And on the bottom, we find that the price is $24.99 in the U.S. And it doesn't have any other prices for any other countries. But um, it says, build your inner life with a cast of colorful archetypes. New York Times bestselling author and artist Nick Bantock presents a groundbreaking oracle deck that helps you create your personal mythology. Picture your inner life as a hero's quest and this deck as your band of faithful companions. The RKO includes 40 archetype cards, a full-color guidebook detailing each one's skills, gifts, and personalities, and two blank cards to make your own archetypal characters. Featuring mesmerizing artworks that spark the imagination, this marvelous deck guides you in discovering your full potential as a person of many parts. All right, so let's take a look. So we'll look at the guidebook first. Um, but this packaging is so awesome. First, you have a ribbon to take the guidebook out. You have an inset for the cards to set in. You have a ribbon. The ribbon takes the cards out as well. There's a beautiful picture of a wolf in here. And under the cards is another really cool picture, if you can see that. My light is being kind of weird today. But anyway, so let's take a look at the guidebook first and then we'll take a look at the cards hmm. there we go. all right so this is the guidebook it says understanding and developing the RKO understanding and developing your archetypes and then um, create your own hero's quest and meet your faithful companions all right so it's um, the the cover is glossy of course it's soft cover all the pages inside are glossy, and I just love the feel of it and the artwork. There's a title page. Every page almost has illustrations. And this was first printed in 2021, so it's just a year going on two years old. So it's really, really new. And um, I found this one at Barnes & Noble. I'm sure it's online, too, in other bookstores. So we have a table of contents. And all, so we have an introduction in the 40 RKO cards. Um, and they're all in alphabetical order. They don't have numbers on the cards. And then we have layouts and spreads. And we'll see what else. So here's an introduction. And I'm just going to read this one paragraph. I know I hate to go on and on reading and reading. But imagine your inner life as a quest, a hero's journey across a dramatic terrain. Would you want to travel that long road alone, or would you rather have a company of good companions at your side? That's not as abstract a question as it might seem, because inside each of us, within our personal mythological domains, we have a fellowship of potential compatriots who, given the opportunity, would willingly accompany us. Okay, and it goes on. And then we come to the characters, which are the cards. Each one has a full color uh, picture of the card. And then we have um, the title of the card, uh, the attribute, uh, an attribute of that person or character, the persona, and um, that's it. So it looks like everyone has an attribute and a persona. Yeah, and a full color page. All right, good. So it goes through all of the cards like this, and at the end we have... Uh, let's see. Okay, the wolf is the last card. And then we have layouts and spreads. And there's a short spread with three cards. There's a medium spread and a full spread. It talks about an alternative way of using the deck for you to consider. And then growing and expanding your Archeo. It 
building an internal country for your Archeo to inhabit. And Archeo Tales, it says the following 40 short tales aren't an attempt to define or summarize the individual Archeo. Instead, they're meant to give you a sense of the character's emotional tone and the spirit that drives them. Okay, so we have a little story about each of them. And at the end, we have um, about Nick Bantock, who, of course, is the artist and writer of the deck. And then it has some of Nick's other books. And that is the end. So very nice guidebook color. Now let's take a look at these cards. And if I haven't mentioned this before, I absolutely love this artwork. All right. Now the weird thing is though, I arranged these so that all of the titles of the cards were on the left. And strangely enough, that's not how they're all facing. So we'll just turn them as we go. All right. So this is the alchemist, the angel, Wow, I really did a number, didn't I? This is the Anima Animus. The Arbiter. The Awakener. The Demon. All right, let's flip them around again. The Demon. The Dreamer. The Duende. The eccentric, the falcon, the fatalist, grace, the green man, the healer. Arrayeth. Now wait, that's gone wrong. Okay, there we go. The Hypocrite. The Illuminator. The, you know what? <laughs> the Innocent. Intimate. That's the picture that's on the inside of the box. Inventor, Jester, Lion, Magician. A lot of these remind me of some of the tarot cards as well. The Metamorph, Midwife. Mobius, Mooncat, okay, this doesn't quite have a human face, but I'm telling you, I don't know why, but nothing freaks me out more than a cat with a human face. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, uh, that was random, sorry. Okay, um, the Observer, the Poet. The Reflector, the Sage, the Shadow Diver. Wait, which way does this go? Oh, I guess it goes this way. The Shadow Diver, the Siren, the Star Climber. Strategist, the survivor, the trickster. So we had a jester and a trickster, the wanderer, the warrior, the wolf, and then you get two cards that are blank so you can create your own. And I neglected to show you the back. This beautiful back. 
And the cards are, I would say they're medium weight, they're glossy, and let me show you a comparison of the size to a tarot card. So this, oh, this is my trusty tarot card. And so this is a different size. This is about three quarters to an inch wider and about an inch or an inch and a quarter, maybe not quite, longer. So they're kind of an unusual size. I've not seen any this size before. Let's see how they shuffle, and then we'll do a one-card reading, one-card draw, so you can see how the book is written. I just love the back. It's beautiful. Okay. So, obviously, I'm not going to be able to do the one, the riffle shuffle with my shorter fingers, so I'll do it this way. So we can do the sideways riffle. That'll work nicely. And there are no reversed meanings, so... We can go this way. All right, so let's do a one card reading. Okay, Spirit, what does our viewer need to think about today? What does our viewer need to know or to think about today? Which personality has something, which archetype has something to say to our viewer? Which archetype has something to say to our viewer? Which archetype has something to say to our viewer? Okay, two more. Okay, we're going to take this one. And it is the Reflector. Okay, so that is the card. And let me see. Let's all put that there so you can see it. Let's see what this the book says about the reflector. Okay, it says the attribute is the reflector mirrors you back without distortion, artifice, or bias, showing you as you really are, both inside and out. If you can acknowledge that truth without flinching, then you will have moved a long way toward self-acceptance. Without the reflector's honesty, you will spend your time hiding behind the false armor of wishful thinking. And then it says persona. We have struggled in abject loneliness, trapped on a snowbound mountainside, wrestling with the angel of no man's God, and we are exhausted from trying to hold our fragile self-image. How pointless our resistance when all we crave is truth. The reflector is devoid of artifice and deception. His integrity is flawless, and he offers us relief from the absurdity of false heroics. Neither kind nor cruel, he is our honest twin, stripping away the illusion that entraps us. When we face him, his steady gaze slips like mercury through our pupils, down past our organs, and into our central nervous system. From there, it searches out our soul's core. We try to cover our shame, but this stare ignores our prudish defenses. He has come to release us from the dreadful burden of pretense. And when we finally acknowledge that we have been unmasked, a deep laugh breaks free from our belly, releasing our fears into the gutter. All right. That is all about seeing the truth of yourself, seeing who you really are. Wow. How many of us can really, really do that and be comfortable with it? That's something to think about. All right, friends, that was my review of Nick Bantock's The RKO Personal Archetype Cards. Like I said, I love the artwork in this deck. I think the packaging is beautiful as well. It's put together nicely. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. It's perfectly free for you, and it helps me out a lot. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And please know that I appreciate you so, so much. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.